Now you can see that the uh, groove is widening and I've taken it to the uh, layout line almost on this side and I'm taking my last pass feeding out and that should bring me about to that line and then I'm ready to reverse the work. If possible I'll need yet one more pass. I'm feeding real slowly with the compound. 15 degrees. Trying to get a reasonably good finish on this last pass. In a way, I guess you could say I'm facing only at a 50, 15 degree angle. Use a hook like this to pull the chips out so you don't have to put your hand in there when, at least when the machine's running. Now I'm just about up to my layout line. There isn't much left of my layout line, but uh, you, you can see that when I flip it around, the half inch that shows up will bring us uh, to a half inch of uh, V group. Okay, and I'll do that. The work is now reversed. The dog is on the other end of the mandrel, and now we have uh, access to machining the, the left, the uh, the other side, which is still on the left. And we're going to machine it at uh, 30 degrees in exactly the same manner that we did the other side. I'm advancing my carriage with my left hand uh, after each pass, maybe uh, 10 thousandths. I'm just guessing on that. Now I'm advancing it, the carriage about 10 thousandths, and I'm feeding out. Continue to do that until I get down to that layout line. Then my groove is going to be a half inch wide. Always check on the right hand side too so your tool or your tool holder isn't going to crash into the groove. This will now be the final pass. I'm going to feed slowly again, trying to get a finish cut. RPM is about uh, 700. going to be a long video, isn't it? All right, looks like we're right about at a half. And remember, this ruler is a half inch wide and it almost fits in there. A V belt, and you can see that fits in there nicely. Now, one final step before I take it out, and I'm going to turn the machine on and break the corners with a file. But this is incredibly dangerous with a file around the dog. So, if you're not comfortable with that, I'm not either. I'm going to take a, a brace of cloth and break all the corners like that. And then when you get down in here by the dog, be very careful. Well, there's the print again. And I think that I'm pretty close to all the dimensions on the print, except that one that I changed. And there's the work. See the V-groove? Take the dog off now.
If you want to do any facing while it's on the arbor, you can do that also by uh, just facing across here. But make sure you don't hit the hardened arbor because you can either damage the arbor or you'll definitely dull the tool. So if I wanted to face a little bit off of here, if it was too uh, thick, the way I would do it, I'd wrap some masking tape around here, one layer of it. And when you come in and you catch the masking tape with your tool, you know you're within about two thousandths. And that's going to be close enough. My next step is to press it off, but again I have to do that in another shop. Remember that plus end is the large end, so when I press it off, I will be pushing from this side. My next step is to put a keyway into the pulley, like you see in this pulley. Here's a set of keyway brooches in many different sizes, and so out of this set I'm going to select the 3 16 wide brooch and the 5 8 inch bushing that uh, fits this brooch. And we need the shim. There are various shims in here for different sizes. Also two other brooches in here. There, One is a quarter inch wide and one is a 3 8 wide. Now I'm going to have to go over to the high school shop to press this brooch through the work. I'm in the school shop now and I've got the Dake Arbor Press. It's a number one. I've removed the arbor already. Now I'm going to put a keyway in. I'm going to broach a keyway. And I've already put the bushing in there. It's a 5 8 bushing. And we're going to cut a 3 16 wide keyway. We're going to use a broach. This is shown in more detail in one of my other videos, but we're going to put the brooch into the uh, slot and we're going to push it all the way through. Slowly and carefully. It will take two passes. Okay, there's the first pass. For the second pass, it's necessary to use a shim that's included in the kit. And it just slides in there like that. And then the brooch goes in there, same as uh, the last pass, up against the shim. to push that in. If I had a little lubricant here, I would use it, but I don't. If it was steel, you would definitely want to use a lubricant. Just want to make sure that you're not broaching the machine as well, hitting the platen. In order to get the brooch out of there, I'm just using a, a bolt or a little uh, pin or something. The kids have abused this so the handle falls off.
Notice that each tooth produces a little chip. It's a progressive uh, operation where each tooth is, is removing a little bit of material. There it is. All I gotta do is take the bushing out of there. It's kind of a tight fit. Now I'm going back home. The last step now is to put a set screw hole in there and drill it and tap it. And I want to drill the hole. Uh, I've got a center punch mark on there. I believe it's not showing up, but I would like to have the set screw hole end up right in the keyway. Got a 1364 drill bit in the Atlas, or the uh, make that the Walker Turner drill press, and uh, I'm going to drill it now. Now we've got the work in the vise. I'm going to put a little bit of a lumen tap on there. Got a quarter twenty tap tapered, and we're going to run it right on in. T-handle tap wrench. Note that I got my vice protectors on, my jaw protectors, whatever you want to call them. We'll run that all the way down. Back it out. You got to go in far enough to overcome the seven tapered teeth at the end of a tapered tap. Very easy tapping in aluminum. There's the finished product. The hole comes right into the keyway just where I want it. I need to blow it out yet. The V-belt fits in there nicely. Surface finish is pretty good. Overall appearance is good. Dimensions are uh, all within tolerance. Now if you need to ream a hole, a hole that has a keyway in it, don't use a straight flute reamer because it's going to go a yug -a dug -a dug as it goes uh, past the keyway. Use a spiral fluted reamer. At the beginning of the picture, I said that someplace in this slug of aluminum resided a V pulley. Well, I guess I have extracted it. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.